Hey friends, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are enjoying your summer so far. It's going so fast. I hope you're staying cool, drinking a lot of water, eating a bunch of popsicles, whatever you need to do to stay cool. And here I am sitting here in my sweater, but my husband likes the air conditioning on and I think it gets really cold. So we have to compromise, right? Today's video is a little bit different than usual because it's not only a shopping video, it's not only a shop and haul video, but I'm also going to be styling the items that I have in my haul for you. Now we go to Walmart and Hobby Lobby in this video. I admit I don't find very many things. So most of the items in this haul are things that I have found from Amazon, Target, and Home Goods. There's a couple of things from Ross as well. All right, but we're gonna do the shopping portion of this video first, and then we'll move on to the decorating portion. And I'm gonna show you how to style each of these items. Sometimes I'm even gonna show you a couple different ways. So, all right, let's get started. We're starting off at Walmart because I wanted to share with you some of the clearance decor pieces that Walmart has on clearance right now. The items in this area with a hanging yellow tab were all half off the original price. I was debating about this potted plant and then when I saw the crack I decided it was a no. However, the crack was barely visible and it still really would have been a pretty good deal. If I could have thought of a place in my home to put one of these mini olive trees, I would have grabbed one, but I decided to leave it because I couldn't think of anywhere. These bouquet pillows are a great buy and they had a lot of them left at my store. So I got a little greedy. I thought, well, I don't really need them. Hopefully they come down in price. I can keep checking. Hopefully I don't regret that. But again, it's not like I need sofa pillows. These were all regularly priced items, but I'd like to take a peek and see if I find anything new. I think this peperomia plant is new, at least to my store. Although I know that stock varies from store to store and state to state. I'm pretty sure this scalloped woven bowl is new. I did not find the price in the store, but I found it online for you. I think it's so pretty. Now we're gonna do a quick jump over to my favorite store, which is Hobby Lobby, and check out the candle holders, the lanterns, and also the vases. And I'm also going to check out the floral section really quickly as well. And if you didn't know, the smaller lanterns and the candle holders normally go on sale the same week at Hobby Lobby, and that would be a different week than the larger lanterns go on sale. And now let's talk about vases. I don't think any store beats Hobby Lobby's selection of in-store vases. This was the shape I was going for. I just wished it would have been a little bit bigger. I've had my eye on this particular vase because it reminds me a little bit of one from Pottery Barn, although the one from Pottery Barn is quite a bit bigger, but the style is very similar. I have a similar pitcher vase to this one at home, only mine has a smooth finish. I do like the texture on this, but I left it at the store because I knew I didn't need it. But I will tell you, I spent a lot more than that for the one that I bought from Amazon. Now, I know we're in the fall section, but I'm not really here to look at the fall decor right now. I'm just going to look at these dough bowls. If you are in the market for a dough bowl, now is the time to get them at Hobby Lobby. You won't find a better price, in my opinion. And if you happen to be stumped on how to style a dough bowl, I did a really detailed video last year titled 10 Ways to Style a Dough Bowl, and so that should help get your creative juices flowing. I don't know why I thought of this or why I'm even sharing it with you, but these baskets reminded me of those huge baskets that women in Africa balance on their heads with produce and all kinds of things, even heavy things. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch a video on it. It's amazing how they do that. I thought these were really pretty, but they are huge and I was a little stumped on how to style them. And then I saw this vase in the entryway at Hobby Lobby and I really liked that look, so I thought I'd share it with you to see if it could inspire you too. 
And I know you're probably thinking, okay, Rachel, we're not in fall yet. You're absolutely right. However, these yellow cosmos flowers could definitely work for summer, in my opinion. And then there's also these brown cosmos flowers, which, by the way, are often referred to as chocolate cosmos. Some even say the real ones smell like chocolate cake. So the items I picked up from Walmart and Hobby Lobby are just a few and they're mixed in with all of the rest of the haul. Normally I would go store by store and show you each piece that I picked up from each store. However, because um, I'm styling certain things together for you, I've decided to go room by room instead. So by that I mean I'm going to start with my kitchen and show you the pieces I picked up for uh, styling in my kitchen and show you how they're styled. Then I'm going to move on to the bathroom and then the rest of the house. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, so with that, I'm gonna start with the first item that I picked up, and that was this marble utensil holder from uh, Target. And it's, of course, the hearth and hand line, if you didn't recognize it. It has these little pads on the bottom to protect the counter. And so this is the first item. I'm going to show you how I'm styling in my kitchen. Next up is another item from Target, and it is this Peperomia, faux oh, Peperomia plant. I think I pronounced that right. I looked up Google to try to figure out how to pronounce it, but it has a little texture on the pot. It has these variegated leaves, and this was $10 from Target. And then the next item I wanted to share with you is this cutting board from Home Goods. I like the handle detail. I think it's very farmhousey, modern farmhousey. This was a $9.99. Um, it says it's made in India. Most of their wood uh, cutting boards and wood pieces like this for like your kitchen are made in India, which I like. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I styled these two things together, um, along with a couple other things in my kitchen. Next up is this little five inch vase and it has a little bit of dimpling on it. I don't know if you can tell. And it also has some little speckles. I like the L shaped handles. I was looking for one bigger than this, but I like the style so much I went ahead and bought it and it was only $9.99 regular price. So on the 50, for the 50% off sale, it was, you know, $5. You really can't beat that. Um, besides styling it on a shelf or really on a table anywhere. Um, I thought it would look really nice styled in my kitchen on my marble tray as part of my coffee bar. So I'm gonna show you how I styled that. Next item is this canvas wall art. It is eight by 10. I like the soothing green. I like the fact that the more you look at this picture, the more you see things. Like if you, I don't know if you can tell, but there almost looks like there's a tent there on shore. Maybe even a cottage tucked in the back. But anyway, um, I spent $11.42 for this. I know we're not really supposed to talk about prices from Amazon because they change, but now I really don't want to insult you guys' intelligence by talking about how to decorate with wall art because it's obvious, but I like to layer it against cutting boards um, against the backsplash of my kitchen. But what I actually had in mind for this when I bought it is uh, I plan to put floating shelves in my main bathroom. And so this would look really nice, I think, on one of those floating shelves. So that's the plan for this. But in the meantime, I'll show you one way to style this um, in your home or my home.
The next piece I'm going to talk about is this cutting board or serving board. It's whitewashed. It's from Home Goods, and it was $10. It has these little tabs on the bottom, and I'm going to use this as a centerpiece on my kitchen table, which I'll show you in just a second. But before I show you the next styling clip, I wanted to also point out something else that I bought. I ended up taking my sweater off because I did get a little bit warm. So the next item is these brown cosmos flowers. Now, let's talk about brown, okay? I know we often think about brown as being strictly a fall color. However, you may have noticed a shift starting towards the brown tones again, and I'm not talking about the harsh, cold browns that we remember from the 70s and 80s, and by we, I mean we Gen Xers and those older than that, but more of a softer, warmer, kinder type of brown. If you've seen Amber Lewis's most recent book, she has a brown cover. She has a lot of brown decor, brown furnishings featured in this book. I like this book. I like her first book better, but I do like this book. I will link this book for you. Um, mine was from Amazon, so I can easily find you a link if you would like to get your hands on it. But it kind of makes sense with so many nature-inspired tones and textures trending right now. You have a lot more of those earthy tones like brown, so don't shy away from using brown for a neutral color in your home. Next up is another Peperomia plant. And this one has the, just the plain green leaves. This one was from Walmart. It was $7.94, I believe. It's about the same height as this other Peperomia plant. As I say, the leaves are a little bit different um, and the pots are different. This pot is bigger. It's more of a smooth finish. Next up is this scalloped marble riser from Ross. It was $6.99. Isn't that a great price? I know Ross doesn't have as much of a selection as Home Goods or Hobby Lobby, but the prices cannot be beat. I always have to check out what they have. Next up, I'm going to be styling something in my bathroom, and that is this woven tray. It's from the Hearth and Hand line from Target. It measures seven by 14, and so I'm gonna style this along with a glass hurricane vase from Hobby Lobby, and I hope you like what I did. I kind of stepped outside my comfort zone a little bit with this idea, so let me know what you think. Next up is another woven tray. This one is from Amazon and I paid $29 for it. It measures 11 and a half by just under 16 inches. And I think it's the perfect size, not too big and not too small. It would work really well on a coffee table or on your hutch. You could even style it as part of your coffee bar. Um, I'm gonna show you three different ways to style it. You can style it up or down. I'm gonna start by showing you a more casual way and end with a more formal way.
next up is something I have been looking for for a while. They're not easy to find. I say they because it's a set of stacking decor boxes. They were from Home Goods, $15 for the small one and $17 for the larger one. I love the gold handles. I think they're so sophisticated looking. I love the texture and they're perfect for hiding clutter or remotes, jewelry, uh, maybe a small home security tool. But anyway, um, so pretty, I love them. This item is from Ross and it is this gold fluted bowl. It was only $8.99. There's only one problem. <laughs> it's not really a problem, but I can't tell what it's made out of. If you listen to it, it kind of sounds like glass, but it feels like metal. It's very cold like metal. I really can't tell, but it's probably breakable. I kind of get the sense that it is breakable. So it is probably some kind of glass that's coated in something. I have one more thing to show you before I share with you the last styling clip, and that is these green stems. Now, these are a favorite of mine. They're from Amazon. I'm holding three of them. They come really flat, but I have left them up. They were $18 for three of them. Now, the bad. Um, these little green leaves, they come off. I mean, you can get them back on, but they don't stay on very well. But that said, this is the second time I've bought these. So that says something. I mean, I really do like the color. I like how you can shape them and just how they stick out. I just really like how that looks. I wanted to do this arrangement in front of you to show you how easy it is to achieve that wispy, sculpted look with these tree branches. They're very realistic. They could definitely be used any time of the year. And truly, all of the decor I've shown you today could be used year round. Don't forget to like this video. Thank you so much. That really helps out my channel. I really appreciate it. And if you feel so inclined to share my channel with someone that you know, I'd really appreciate it. The algorithm can only do so much, so thank you. Fall decorating is right around the corner, so I am looking forward to that and making videos for you for fall. But that's all I have today. I hope you found some inspiration. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, stay thankful.